What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over my top five favorite cinematic gimbal movements. If you guys are new here, my name is Jared Majors. I post filmmaking and editing tutorials every single week. If you guys want to learn about filmmaking or editing, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification. So before we go over the gimbal movements, I actually want to show you guys the gimbal I'm using first. I have the Moza Air 2. I used to use Zion Crane, uh, the Zion Crane Plus. But I actually recently got the Moza Air 2 just because it can hold more weight and hold my heavy lenses. And it also has this little arm that bends back instead of like the Zion Crane is all the way up here. And it makes it hard to see the screen. Alright, now let's talk about my top 5 favorite gimbal movements. With number 1 being the follow shot. This gimbal movement is the one that usually everyone goes to when they first get their gimbal. What this shot essentially is doing is bringing attention to a subject in a really cinematic way. I use this shot literally every time I film a wedding. Um, I usually follow from the back, front, and side. This just helps me have multiple shots to work with when I go back to post-production to edit everything together. This is a really easy one to do and I definitely suggest you guys try this one out first. Alright guys, now let's move on to gimbal movement number dos. Gimbal movement number two is the crane or jib shot. All you're doing is a follow shot like the one we just talked about before, but at the same time you're going to be moving the camera and gimbal either from the top to the ground or from the ground back up. This movement is really easy to do as well and it makes your footage look a lot more professional in the end. It might take a little bit of practice when you first start doing this one, but I have faith in you guys. Alright, now let's move on to movement number three. This one comes with a bit of a disclaimer and is a little bit controversial. It's called the inception shot or the Dutch angle. Yes, I know the shot looks awesome, but it can be overused and it doesn't work for every single project. Not every client is going to want a video just spinning around. Um, two ways I suggest you guys use this shot is for music videos and even real estate videos. It looks really well. But again, be careful with this one and use it sparingly. All right, for shot number four, I call this one the panning follow shot. I'm not sure of the technical name for this one, but I love using this shot because it works great for literally everything. You start out with the camera facing up or down and you are either walking forwards or backwards as you slowly bring the camera back to the center. It just looks really cinematic and I use it a lot for weddings and real estate and you can get really creative with it to make some awesome transitions. Alright guys, so the last and final movement I'm going to be talking about today is the reveal slash like fake slider shot. This one is awesome and is great for real estate videos. All you do is move left or right with the object in front of the lens to reveal what's behind that object. People usually do this with sliders, but I find when you're in a running gun situation, gimbal movements, literally you can mimic a slider if you are very steady and stable. I love this shot. I use it for weddings, real estate, my, all my own videos. I absolutely love it. And you can do some really creative transitions with this if you do it correctly. So say you have a shot where you're focused on, then you slide in front of an object and then you start the next shot in front of another object and then you slide out to reveal. Right in the middle there, all you have to do is put those two clips together, put a little cross dissolve on there and it looks absolutely amazing. All right guys, that's my top five favorite gimbal movements to use. If you guys have any other ones or want to suggest any other ones, make sure to go down and leave them in the comments. I'll make sure to go over all of them and check them out because maybe I can learn something as well. I just want to say shout out to all the subscribers. Go out there, get creative. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the bell notification. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a big thumbs up. That helps out the YouTube algorithm to recommend this video so other people can learn filmmaking as well. All right, guys, I will see you guys next week. I'm out.